I can remember one time when we were in 6A, and we, we I don't even know where these ideas came from, but we had a, a drum, like a big oil drum. And in 6A, the, the audience is at a rake like that, and there was two rows of stair steps down. I don't know how many steps there were, 50, 60, 100, I don't know. But the rake was, you know, like a, you're going up to find your, like at a ballpark of the steps. And I don't know how we explained it, but I went up to the top of the steps, and there were guys, and this oil drum, this barrel uh, made of steel, and uh, I got in it, and then they had a top that they, with a power uh, drill or power wrench, bolted me <laughs> into the, to the barrel. And then they tipped it on its side and just shoved me down the steps. And I was in there thinking... <laughs> You know, I could, I could, this could, I could really, I could yeah. really hurt myself here. Absolutely. Uh, but it was interesting because it was dark in there. There was absolutely no sense of disequilibrium. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, uh, and they unbolted the thing, and I climbed out, and it was, yeah, we'll be right back. And I, I what? <laughs> I, even I didn't know what we were doing. Maybe it was better that way. Probably. Just do it. Yeah. Okay, my next guest, uh, we have hay stacked here in front of the desk, and um, that's, that's of course, to break the uh, barrel, or to break the, uh, you know, stop, there it is. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Uh, my next guest calls himself the last of the Niagara Daredevils on July 2nd. Now, take a look at this videotape. Uh, this is pretty unbelievable. There he goes, folks. Kiss it goodbye. Adios. That's him going over the falls. He became the eighth person to go over the falls in a barrel. Please welcome stuntman Carol Socek. Hi, Carol. Nice to see you. Come on over here and sit down, Carol. Uh, that's very frightening footage. What kind of a drop is it? Well, it's a 180-foot drop. 180 feet. Yes, 180 feet, and it would take about uh, three and a half seconds. Uh -huh. And what kind of what kind of velocity do you build up there? Well, it's uh, at the end when you hit the bottom, it's 75 miles per hour. Oh! <laughs> now, how far up the river did you start? Uh, I started about, uh, I would say, uh, 300 or 400 feet mm -hmm. above the brink. You want to get a <laughs> real running start at this? Uh, no, it was for other reasons. You see, uh, I couldn't do it from any other place. Eh? The way the river changed about the falls since. Oh, other daredevils went over the falls, you know, it changed uh -huh. dramatically. They built up there some break walls, and uh, oh, I, I would get catched there. I see. And now, now uh, speaking of other daredevils, eight people have tried this, right? Well, I'm the eighth one, yes. You're the eighth one, and yeah. how many, including yourself, have survived? Well, uh, I'm the fifth one. You're the fifth, fifth one. to survive. Yes. Now, now, it seems to me that the principle, essentially, is pretty obvious. You just pad yourself as much as you can, right? That's right. Now, what happened to the guys who didn't make it? What kind of uh, vehicles did they go over in? Well, you see, uh, that's what I... Uh, I went to the research. I done a lot of research. I was working on it for eight years and to find out why they died. Uh-huh. And why I, did... Uh, <laughs> why exactly did they die? Okay, so uh, let's say one of the men, he went over 1930, in wooden barrel. Wooden barrel, and right away. You don't need to go any farther. We know why he well, died. Well, uh, the lady, Annie Taylor, went over the falls 1901 in wooden barrel as well, and she survived. Oh, she survived. So yes. what, what's, what's now, the difference what there? What was wrong with this guy? Um, uh, he figured out that he needed a ballast. Of course, you need a ballast to go down feet first, and uh -huh. everybody, everybody else, including me, I had ballast. Had some ballast. Too. Now, what he did, he took a blacksmith anvil. Oh, no, okay. That's, and he I think took we that anvil with him inside of that yeah. barrel, <laughs> and he tied it to his foot. <laughs> yeah, okay. And uh, he tied his hands to top of the barrel. Yeah. Now, of course, when he hit on the bottom, that anvil, which was 100, 100 pounds mm -hmm. heavy, it broke through the bottom sure. and took him down to the bottom of the river. Yeah. <laughs> Only the arm was left oh, in the okay, barrel. Okay, that's enough. That's, that's uh... <laughs> Okay. Um, now, have the, have the, uh, all of the attempts been made in barrels? Uh, well, there were two attempts in uh, rubber balls. Rubber but, balls. Uh, but, uh, you see, I didn't want to go in a rubber ball because uh, a rubber ball may be a recognizable thing 
with the people around Niagara Falls who mm-hmm. knows about it. But mm-hmm. let's say you come to Europe and you say you went over the falls in a ball. So people don't know. If you say you went over, in, over the in falls a in a barrel, yeah, then nobody's, right away it can be sure. Nobody's really going to be impressed if you say, right. I went over in a ball. Right. But you tell them you went over in a barrel, in a barrel. they'll buy you a drink. Right. Um, and they do. Uh, what are we going to do? Oh, we have to go up there. Okay, now, uh, we're, we got our own barrel. Mm-hmm. And we're going to go, one of us is going to come down the steps in the barrel. Right. Now, we go up there now? Yes. All right. Now, was there enough air in your barrel? Did you carry your own air? I carry my own air, and also I could draw the air from outside oh. through the system I had there yeah, built in the barrel. Do we have and that I system in our barrel? I pump it up with well, oxygen do. and okay. all that stuff. I've been assured that we have a similar system in our barrel. <laughs> all right. And uh, will we need this kind of padding? Well, I think you need it. That's, now, what happened uh, when you hit the water? Did you sink or did you just bounce on the water? No, the water below the falls is so soft because of all the air bubbles in it that uh, it it's actually actually sort of for you know, the cushion. And, uh, I want to introduce you to the Levines. <laughs> there they are right there. They're from Miami. Nice to see you, folks. How you doing? Uh, okay. Thank you very much. All right. Is this, uh, this is the deal here? Now, what do we do here? Do we get into it now or not? Talk a little? Okay, let's show them the barrel. What is this made of, Carol? That uh, looks to me like uh, polyethylene. Same thing that I use. You use the same material. Same material. But yours was much bigger, wasn't it? Well, mine was bigger than this thing here, and uh, also it has... Uh, it had... Um, polyurethane foam around it uh-huh. in case I would hit a rock yeah. so it would uh, now you did hit a rock didn't you? I hit a rock yes. and that's you were sort of injured but it was just a silly little injury right just an injury that uh, really didn't count for nothing you know that's something that happens to me you know most of the time and I do happens you most of the time yes, yeah you know, but I mean it was not it was not it's, a major it's just, you know it's, it's not major injury it's just you know what you would call you know uh, just uh, just a little incident your, your watch kind of banged right. into your head a little bit and that was it no, right. but I mean really after going 180 feet 75 miles an hour you can you can live with that right of course you know, more people get, uh, oh, yeah. you know, some people get more by bouncing into the door. We get into it now or not? We start getting into it now. All right. Is it in position where it ought to be? Do we have highly trained technicians or do we have these guys? Okay. Uh, so I'll just get in. I'll just get in and we'll go to a commercial. Should I get in and we go to a commercial? As I go to a commercial, we get in, or, or words to that effect. Now, how do I get in? Do you mind if I loosen my tie here? All right. Oh, I will. I, I plan on. I can't. Uh, I can't even loosen my tie. How do I know we have the oxygen system? Well, now I've screwed up my microphone. All right. Well, there's the tie. There. I'd like you to have that in case anything happens. Okay. Now, now I just. That's what I said to my friends. I left everything with them before oh, I did went. Did you really? Over. Oh yeah. Were you were arrested, right? Or the? Uh, no, I was not arrested. I was just uh, sort of detained and. Um, uh, you know, uh, they hand over to me. You know, they find you, right? Well, yes, they find me. Just like a parking ticket. Or a I've got the ticket. microphone on backwards here. I'm sorry. If they can't hear me, they can't hear me. But can hear you fine, we can dub the sound in much later. <laughs> oh! All right. Now, it's pretty much just like this, right? We're doing a commercial? All right, and by the time we get back, more than likely, I'll have all of my appendages in here. Uh, Carol, can you give me a... Thank you very much. Oh, geez. Yeah, well, this will be great. Okay, all right, fine. Well, it's awfully roomy. It's like a Winnebago in here. <laughs> right, we did, didn't we? Did we go? Oh, no, well, let's go. Let's just go, and we'll be right back. Okay. Okay. All right, welcome back. Uh, we're where the, the final preparations before I go down the, and uh, I can't, I keep hearing this voice in my mind saying, gee, this is stupid. So, <laughs> with that in mind, are we ready to, to seal this sucker up? Let's do it. Okay, now do I, should I put this on? Oh, yes. Carol, did you wear a helmet? No, I well, left my helmet behind me, but uh, you no, should I, wear I, a not helmet. Not tonight, I know, I know not tonight. I, I meant when you went over the falls. Uh, no, I wasn't Didn't wearing wear one then either. No. Well, uh, you, you should have worn one. That's, that's why you got the ticket. <laughs> All right. Well, Godspeed, and uh, I'll just get in here. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of room here. <sighs> the hell was that? <sighs> how we, uh, how we doing? Oh, it's like being at the dentist. <laughs> I'll get out of this thing and everyone will have left. <laughs> so 
Some parts of my body are going to sleep that have never gone to sleep before. All right. How many more of these do we have? <coughs> well, if you feel like you need to, to stop for like coffee or something, go ahead. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll get us a little programming retreat. Take the staff up to the woods. Conferences all day. Entertainment at night. Okay. Same night. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, I, I'm told that the vision in my left eye will be returning shortly. Uh, well, that was. Uh, that's quite an experience, isn't it? It's something different, yes. Yeah, and so Mattel is coming out with a home version of this. Uh, Carol, nice meeting you. Thank you for your technical expertise. You're a, uh, a foolhardy fellow. Well, well, my pleasure to be here. Oh, good. Uh, maybe one day you go over the forces. Oh, yeah, probably in a couple of weeks. Uh, we'll be right back, folks.